buy? It's a Mahindra little tractor with a Sandman attachment right on it. That's the mid mount? It's a mid mount, yes. How do you like it? Really well. It saves uh, the hookup time between when you bed your stalls to when you groom. You don't have to reattach to a skid steer and go back in there. It's all ready to go and it's saving us time. Every time we do a group of cows, we're probably saving 15, at least 15 minutes, which is a big deal for us because between groups of cows, there's not a whole lot of time. Sometimes the farmers have indicated they saw an increase in their herd average. Yeah, I, I would say what we've seen, the most significant change we've seen in our herd is our lower somatic cell count. Um, we've seen, we were running around 240, 250 before. We were using the older model Sandman attached to a skid steer, and we were only grooming our stalls you know, one day a week. And Rich suggested that we do it every day, and that's what we have done, been doing. Sometimes on a weekend we might skip a Saturday or Sunday, but most of the week, every day, the stalls are getting groomed. Stalls are drier, sands are drier, and it's better cow comfort, and we're getting a better smack cell because of that. You were at 250, you said? What yeah, you and we're now we're at 140, 150. There's times I get down to 120. And how long have you been using the sand man? Nine years with the older model, and we've been on the new model now for, since July, so that would be about six months. Why do you talk And we love it. it it's a great, great a unit to use. Our Hispanics love it because it saves them time. What about the cow levels? You talk that they um, there's no more debits in the stalls because we're leveling them every day. And we like that 1% slope on the stalls too because it, it seems like the cows are laying uphill, which to, to us the cows are very comfortable and they love to lay down. Uh, did, did you find that significant savings in sand? I was talking to Alan about that. Yeah, I would say we're saving sand, but we're also using, we're doing a better job with our stalls now. Um, the stalls are more sloped to the front, and that's, I'm more after the cow comfort rather than the sand savings. Yes, we're saving sand because the cows aren't pulling out with their feet every time they come out of the stall because the stall's more, sand's more pushed forward in the stall on that slope. To me, that's a big deal because it's like laying uphill on a pasture. These cows are extremely comfortable. Um, one, the big thing we noticed too in our sick cow pen where we have our treated cows, before we could have eight to 10 cows, you know, treated. And now we're lucky to have one or two. I mean, it's, it's really cut down on our mastitis and our cows. Because the stall beds, there's no, there's no debits where the cows feed are or they lay down. It's, by, by grooming them every day, we've, we've done a, so much better job of, uh, of, of keeping these stalls um, maintenance. The maintenance is so much better. Well, we're, we're seeing a reduction in not having to treat cows. That's huge. And, and you keep your parlor performing. You don't have, we don't have a second parlor here at this farm, but if you don't have a big treated cow group coming through, that's huge. It saves on labor in the parlor. And I, the other thing is no one likes treating cows. That's a miserable job on any herd. And if you can cut that down to minimal, a one or two on a herd our size, that's a great day. And if you have a fairly large herd. We milk about 1,100, 1,200 cows going through this parlor. And um, it's working very, very well. Um, have you seen a savings in labor? Uh, if you ask Jorge, who, be, who does my stall maintenance every day, he absolutely loves, enjoys running that little tractor through the stalls. The one thing with the little tractor with the mid mount, that, that groomer is right on the side of the tractor. And you can see the the arm rotate so much better because when you're in a skid steer you have a hard time seeing through the glass or through the the the, the little checkers on the side now it's right there in front of you and you can see it so much better some of our farmers uh, claim that they had a, a return on their investment of three or four months have you measured a return on your investment for this well if you take what i've getting quality premiums from my milk plant which is 50 to 75 cents, depending on where I'm in that window on our milk volume. It doesn't take too many months to pay for one of these. That's exactly right. Okay. So, you, so you probably had a payback on this thing already. You've had it for six months. Well, you take 70 cent, 50 to 70 cents per hundred weight on an, uh, a few million pounds per month. Do the math. It's, it's there. I would, I would encourage anyone that have, has never used a mid-mount 
to try it. Because I thought at first it was a lot of money, and it is. But when you see how your labor force utilizes it and uses it more often, that's what, that's what intrigued me about it, because I didn't want to spend the money on it. But when we did spend the money on it, and we're doing a better job with our stalls, it's paid off big dividends. And now we're seeing it five, six months afterwards. We thought we were doing a good job already, but we're even doing a better job now. And that's thanks to the sand? Sandman and the mid-moat. Dave Johnson, Johnson Farms.